Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Today we will be discussing with respect to monopolistic competitive market, dear students. Under monopolistic competitive market, there will be a large number of sellers dealing with a heterogeneous products. Under this market, there will be free entry and exit of firms. Let us start with the meaning of monopolistic competitive market. So here you can see, dear students, in a market structure where the number of firms is large. As I told, under monopolistic competitive market, like perfect competition, there will be large number of firms. And there is a free and entry and exit of firms like under perfect competition. Here also there will be free entry and exit of firms. But under perfect competition, firms deal with a homogeneous product. But under monopolistic competition, they are not produced or they are not dealing with a homogeneous. Under monopolistic competitive market, they deal with a heterogeneous product or the products which are differentiated. The good or good example for monopolistic competitive market is biscuits, soap, etc. To understand this monopolistic competitive market, let us start with the features. What are the features of monopolistic competitive market large number of firms so under monopolistic competitive market there is a large number of producing firms they are large in number but the size of firms will be small they deal with the heterogeneous products firms being produced are substitutes but not perfect substitutes they are not perfect substitutes means the product is let us discuss product differentiation what do you mean by product differentiation the product is differentiated either by brand name or packing or with respect to the taste under monopolistic competition the products will act as a close substitute but not perfect substitute as the products are differentiated and if you consider under a, a monopolistic competition all consumers will develop a brand loyalty the consumers are uh, uh, what i can say that they uh, no they consider a particular product as their brand and they like that particular brand products only maybe with respect to the taste or maybe with respect to the quality the performance by considering all those things they develop a bad loyalty you can see at your home when you are kids they used to buy a particular paste soap and even today you can see the same brand a paste soap and even you can consider coffee powder tea powder all these products you know of from our childhoods even today we are using the same branded that means under monopolistic competition consumers develop a brand loyalty and they don't want to substitute any, any other product or any other brand immediately and next one is large price difference if any firm new firm enter in, into the market they cannot attract the consumers because under monopolistic competition the consumers already developed a brand loyalty so in that situation how can you attract you can attract consumers from other brand only when there is a large price difference if the price difference becomes a large consumer would be willing to choose of another brand the price difference required for the consumer to change the brand consumed may vary 
so that is what they are telling any firm enter into the new uh, no enter into the market a new firm enter into the market now they want to attract the consumers from other brand products so how can they do only by large price difference they can attract otherwise it is not easy now let us discuss demand curve the demand curve slopes downward from left to right what it indicates means under monopolistic competition like a monopoly he can sell more at a lower price and less at a higher price that is what they are telling and here uh, under perfect competition demand curve for firms will be perfectly horizontal but under a uh, monopolistic competition uh, similar to monopoly they will have a demand curve and they will have a demand curve which flows from left to right downwards you can see in the diagram this is a, a perfect competition and we know that under perfect competition p is nothing but a mr and mr is equal to ar and ar itself we call it as demand curve in the similar way you can see even a monopolistic competition or monopolistic competitive market of uh, firms or firms under monopolistic competition demand curve is nothing but a ar for them and one thing you have to remember dear students mr lies below ar under monopolistic competition mr and ar are so close the difference between ar and mr is very less you can see here okay then you can see observe this one the demand curve faced by firm is not horizontal as in case of perfect competition demand curve faced by firm is not a market demand curve as in case of monopoly market demand and monopoly as we know that monopoly is a single seller there is no difference between a firm's demand and market demand under monopoly and we know that under monopoly only one firm will be there but under monopolistic competition we know that there will be a large number of firms okay so when in case of monopolistic competition firm expects a small increase in demand if it lowers the price hence the marginal revenue is slightly less than the average revenue that is what uh, this diagram also show now let us see what quantity of output a monopolistic firm is going to supply if you consider output a firm increases output the firm will be keep on increasing output as long as marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost you can see this is the position if you see here this is the marginal cost and this is the marginal revenue so marginal revenue is marginal revenue mr is greater than mc so it will increase the output so it increases till it reaches the equilibrium position what is the equilibrium position for a monopoly or monopolistic competition it is a situation where mr is equal to mc or it is a position where mc cuts mr from the below that position we call it as equilibrium position and q is the equilibrium quantity clear makla but the marginal cost or marginal revenue is lower than the price under monopolistic competition you can see this is the price with the help of demand curve or average revenue we can determine the price of the product at equilibrium see price is greater than the mr correct makla mr is mr that is marginal revenue is lower than the price marginal revenue becomes equal to marginal cost at a lower level of output so this is at q quantity mc becomes equal to mr okay mc becomes equal to mr at q not and this output 
is always less than the perfect competition less than the perfect competition but under one uh, under perfect competition we know that price is equal to mr is equal to mc uh, mc is equal to ar is equal to than demand curve this will be the position under a uh, perfect competition so because of that reason this position under perfect competition they reach at a uh, more quantity than the monopolistic competition than the monopolistic competition that means monopolistic competitive firms will supply less than the quantity supplied by firms under perfect competition the last one is free entry and exit of firms under monopolistic competition like a perfect competition new firms can enter into the market and the existing firms can quit the market there won't be any restriction on entry and exit so we can say like a perfect competition there will be free and free entry and exit of firms when new firms will enter into the market when the existing firms are earning super normal profit it will attract a new form into the market when new forms enter into the market what happens in the market you know this is the demand and this is the demand and this is the supply curve when new forms enter into the market and uh, they are going to supply the quantity so what happens supply increases that means supply shift towards uh, right side so at this price they are earning profit because quantity supplied is less and this is the price and this is the equilibrium position this attracts a new form new forms enters when new form also enters supply will increase so supply curve will shift towards the right side keeping demand constant now what happens there is a new equilibrium position that is e dash at e dash the price is less than the price at e so the p dash is the price p dash is less than the price p so firms will earn normal profit by chance if existing firms are incurring loss if existing firms are incurring loss so in that case what happens let us see this is the demand curve and supply curve this is demand and supply curve and this is the price at this price firms a few firms are incurring loss so they decided to quit the market when they leave the market they won't produce so supply curve will shift towards the left side so this is the equilibrium position where demand is equal to supply and p is the price when at the p price if few firms are incurring loss so they leave the market when they leave the market definitely what happens supply decreases when supply decreases the supply curve shifted towards the left side s will take the position of s1 the new equilibrium position is e dash and the new equilibrium quantity is p dash so as price increases the existing firms will be earning normal profit in the long run if they earn super normal profit then again it will attract a new form then supply increases price decreases and this process will continue till they reach a, a position where existing firms will earn only normal profit in the long run dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much